This Pilates class is designed to work your lower abs. We'll begin on the back. Engage your core by pressing your low back into your mat and rest the back of your head on the earth. And then bring your legs toward the sky, bringing the big toes to touch and create a diamond shape with your legs here. Your knees are coming slightly out to the side and we'll drop one leg and then the other. So drop the right foot, touch your toes to the earth and then bring the foot back up and then switch sides, drop your left foot and bring the foot back up. Inhale as you lower and exhale as you lift your leg nice and slow here. Make sure that you're feeling your lower back on the earth. Inhaling to lower and exhaling to lift. You're doing great here. Beautiful. And this time we'll keep both the feet together and lower the feet down toward the earth and then come back up, keeping that diamond shape. Inhale as you lower and exhale as you lift. Toes to the earth and then back up. Beautiful. We'll take just a few more here. See if you can release any tension through the upper body, keeping your core engaged. And then hug your knees into your chest as you lift your shoulder blades off the ground, reaching your hands towards your toes. And then straighten your arms, straighten your legs, reach your arms up overhead, and then bend and curl. Beautiful. Inhale as you straighten and exhale as you curl, bringing the knees in towards your chest. Beautiful. Now come onto your forearms. And bring your legs up, straighten the legs and point the toes, and then bring them to a 45 degree angle. We'll alternate legs here. You'll bring your right knee into your chest, straighten the leg toward the sky, and lower it back down. Knee to the chest, straighten and lower. Beautiful. Six, five, four. You've got it. Three, two, and one, switch sides, left knee into the chest, straighten the left leg toward the sky, and then lower the left leg down. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Four more. Last one. Bring both feet together and then just tap and alternate tapping the foot down toward the earth. Great job. Make your way into a forearm plank. You can interlace your fingers, hug your belly in, and we'll just be bringing our knees toward one armpit and then the other alternating sides, beginning with the left side. Bend the left knee, bring it toward the left armpit and then step your foot back and then switch sides, keeping your core engaged. Exhale as you pull the knee toward the armpit and inhale as you step your leg back. Nice strong core here. Good. And then lower your knees down and release into a child's pose for a moment. And we'll take that circuit one more time. Come back down onto your back and bring your legs back into that diamond position that we started in, bringing the toes together. And we'll take those alternating leg lifts, press your back firmly into your mat, 
And then when you're ready, lower your right leg down and tap your toes. And then bring it back. And then switch sides, left leg down. And back. Beautiful. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. Nice and slow here. Release any tension in your upper body. Keep the back of your head grounded on your mat. You're doing a great job. Just a few more here. Beautiful. Keep the toes together and lower both feet at the same time this time, all the way to the ground and lift back up. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Beautiful for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest and lift your shoulder blades off the ground, curling it in, and then reach your arms up overhead, straighten your legs, and then curl back in. Beautiful. Inhale as you reach the arms up and straighten the legs and exhale as you curl. Nice work. Come on to your forearms, straighten your legs toward the sky, and then bring your legs to a 45 degree angle. Hug your right knee into your chest, straighten the right leg, and then lower the right leg back to the left. Beautiful. Right knee in, straighten the leg, and lower. For four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, left knee into the chest, straighten the left leg toward the sky, and lower your left leg back down. You've got it. Keep breathing. Good, and then take those taps, keep the legs straight, just rotating, alternating here. Nice job, and we'll come back to that forearm plank. This is your very last exercise, you've got this. Once you're in your forearm plank, as you exhale, you'll pull your knee toward one armpit, and then bring your leg back and switch sides. Beautiful. Good, and then lower your knees down and take a sphinx pose here. Stack your shoulders over your elbows, spread your fingers wide, broaden through your collarbones, feeling that nice stretch through your chest and your abs, and then lower your forehead to the ground and take a cobra pose. And then press back into extended child's pose. You've finished this workout, great job. If you enjoyed this class, please subscribe, like, share, become a member, or donate. I'll see you next time.